Hey, Book Digitizers, Peter here. Today, I want to talk a little bit about fixing the cover as it appears on your PDFs in the Calibre library software, and also, just as importantly, in the underlying PDF, which goes into your iBooks on your iPad. Let's do this. If you've ever downloaded a legitimately a copyright free a copyright free free book from the internet and it didn't have a cover or you didn't like the cover. I'm going to work through an example. Let's look at my computer here. Okay, so here's an example of a PDF that I've downloaded from the internet. Um, the cover page is kind of boring. It is the cover page of the underlying document. This was from the uh, US government. And I mean, it's not the end of the world. You can read it, but it's not ideal. I'd like to do a better job or have a better appearance here in Calibre. But there's a gotcha that, we'll, that I'll, I'm gonna show you. The easy way to fix it in Calibre is with the, uh, with the book selected, go to Edit Metadata. And when the metadata screen opens up, you can download cover. So here's a button here. I'm gonna click Download Cover. And Calibre automatically searches a couple of sites, Open Library, Amazon, and Google. This could take a second or two. And here it's given us a couple of options. Now I could just select the one I want and say, okay. I'm not gonna do that because if you notice here, this, the numbers underneath 128 by 166, it's a tiny little cover icon and it's not gonna look very good in Calibre. It's gonna be all kind of blurry. So although that does work, let's do something a little bit different. I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna jump over to Safari browser, go to Google, and let's just do a search for whatever's appropriate for the book. I'm gonna search for the title of this report. in Google and click on images because I'm only interested in images. And here's a little trick. Click on tools, select a size of medium or large. Let's go large. This one is quite a bit better, 907 by 1360. I do like having nice high quality covers of my books, even PDFs I've downloaded from the government. Okay, so here is a higher quality cover for this uh, particular book. I'm going to do a right click and save images to downloads. It goes into the downloads folder, no surprise there. Let's go back to Calibre. And instead of clicking download cover, where it does that automated thing that gave a result we didn't really like, I'm gonna click browse, which lets me browse my local file system. And in the downloads folder, there is the JPEG. Don't worry about the file name. It's not gonna matter because it's gonna get changed by Calibre in a second. So just select it, open, there it is embedded. And we say, okay, give it a second to update. And there it is, we've got our new, cover, a lot easier to read, it looks a lot better in your library. However, there is a trick. Changed only the appearance of the cover in Calibre. If you're going to use my process that I've showed about how to get your PDFs into iBooks through, uh, through OneDrive, the underlying PDF still has that kind of ugly cover page. Let me drill into that a little bit. So if I click on path, this opens up the local path to the book on my file system. Now, be very careful. Normally, you should not monkey around with the files that Calibre is using, the files and folders. But in this case, I'm going to make a small exception to show you what's going on. So here you can see the PDF, and I've got uh, the EPUB and Mobi versions of it as well. Ignore the metadata full file. That's something that uh, Calibre uses. Here's a file called J uh, cover.jpg. Cover.jpg you will find in every single folder that Calibre is managing. What happens is when Calibre imports a PDF, the first thing it does, it strips off the first page in that PDF and it makes that the cover. That's why we got that ugly cover that we didn't like. Now, I've, the, when I went through the process of updating the metadata, it updated this cover.jpg to have that new file we just downloaded. Great except the underlying PDF still has that ugly cover. And I can show you that by opening it up. So here's the open PDF, the very PDF that is saved in the Calibre library. And as you can see, 
nothing's changed. And if I import this through OneDrive and into iBooks on my iPad, this is how it's going to show up on my iPad. I just don't like it. I want to fix it. So what I can do is now change this PDF, the PDF that's saved in the Calibre library. Of course, ideally, I should have done this before I imported it into Calibre. But as long as I'm careful, I can still get away with doing it now, after the fact, after it's already in Calibre. So on the Mac, it's extremely easy with Preview. I'm just going to have to go back to Finder and that picture that I downloaded, I can just drag it into where I want on the PDF. So if I grab this and say I want this to be inserted right here at the front, I'm still holding and dragging and then I let go of the mouse. It gets inserted in the document. Then all that I have to do is save. So file save. And that's it. I'm done. Now this PDF in the Calibre library has the cover page that I want. And if I move it into iBooks, it will show up in iBooks with this as the first page, because iBooks also shows the first page of a PDF as the icon that you see. Now, if you're on Windows, you won't have this preview program that comes with the uh, Apple system. And you'll have to use some other software like Adobe Acrobat to insert the cover into the PDF document. But again, ideally, you'd want to do this before you import into Calibre. But as long as you're careful and done what we've done here, don't change any file names. Just insert the page, save, close. You're all good. Okay, that's today's tip. Thanks for watching, everybody. Shut down.